Good morning and happy Father's Day to you all. Uh, today, for Father's Day, I'm taking my daughter, my father, and I suppose my mom can come too, to an uh, Italian restaurant, have some fettuccine Alfredo. I'm in that kind of mood. I'm going to wear a Tony Soprano polo shirt, just like this, at the Italian restaurant. Later on today, I'm going to take my daughter to a carnival with rides and things that's going on in town. Um, here's my gig log from this weekend. Uh, three gigs in a row. We'll combine them all into one gig log. And I must apologize, there's some guy named Sid who keeps hacking into my account and uh, posting videos. I can't figure out how to delete them. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it for now, so I apologize for that. Anyhow, here we go, gig log for this week. Practice and enjoy. Hello, Brian again. Heading down to Great Escape. Again, it's Thursday again. Um, yeah, just showing you what I'm up to. It's always kind of the same thing in Great Escape, but uh, we'll maybe take some video anyhow. Um, yeah, nothing new, nothing special. I did buy a new toy. Um, I'll show it to you. I picked it up dirt, dirt cheap, so don't get all mad at me for buying things, please. Uh, spare CD player that could come in handy. It is a um, Newmark uh, CDN uh, 25 Plus G. I've had the CDN 25 Plus G once. I returned it, if you remember. I had a 25 once I thought was just terrible, but I got this thing so cheap. I mean, like, nothing. Like, really cheap. And it's, like, brand new. And it would be handy to have a karaoke a dual deck. For that price, I couldn't say no. Anyhow, on our way to Great Escape. Oh, and we're jamming Inktus from Helen Records right here. We're going to do some uh, breakbeat mixes with some of his music real soon. I uh, got an email from Inktus today. Cool guy. So, uh, anyhow, going to Great Escape. All right. Uh, a little after 9. And uh, here we are getting started. It usually picks up around 11 o'clock. That's what we got at about 9 o'clock right here. Brian again, we're going to a, a wedding in uh, beautiful Port Washington, Wisconsin. I don't know, it's probably about, I don't know, an hour and ten minutes from my house. I don't get up in this neighborhood often, but I'll actually be up here again um, tomorrow night. So, anyhow, uh, making great time. Got about a half hour to spare before I'm supposed to be setting up. And I'm about a mile away from my exit. I'm going to get a drink, make sure I got plenty of air in my dolly tires, and uh, we'll see you there. Here we are in McDonald's drive through uh, Emergency food, grilled chicken sandwich, and an extra large Coke. First caffeine of the day, Jonathan. First Coke of the day, and it's 5.36 in the evening. I'm going nuts. I need my Coke. I'm a Coke freak. Here we have an extra large Coke, a grilled chicken sandwich, uh, plain, and look, free air. What more could a guy want? I was told to stay casual tonight. Now here's the deal. Uh, these clients, this is one of my spot bookings I did at one of the wedding shows. These are fun, cool people. Should be about a 200 to 250 turnout tonight. Uh, they've told me to stay casual, forget the shirt and tie. It's going to be a good time. Check it out. This is a really big mixer.
Wine again. We're on our way up to Kohler, Wisconsin uh, for another wedding. Did one last night. The one last night that uh, we did was 250 people. You just saw footage of that. And, um, you know, it wasn't a bad party. You saw it. There was some, uh, some a lot of dancing. But it could have been even a better party. The problem I had was I was in a smoke-free banquet hall in that hotel. Okay? About 50 feet down the hallway from that banquet hall was a bar you could smoke in and there was a DJ in there so a lot of the party people and a lot of smokers are party people ended up down there uh, most of those uh, most of those folks just said screw it they'll pay for the drinks just so they can sit down and have a smoke somewhere so the result was I lost a lot of my crowd it could have been a lot better that was my uh, that was my obstacle Unfortunately, uh, there wasn't a whole lot I could do about that except cater to the people who did stick around. So anyway, we're on our way to Kohler. Tonight's a smaller wedding, uh, 70 to 80 people, I believe. It's at the American Club. This is a, a rather nice place in uh, Kohler. With, Kohler's where they make all the uh, toilets and sinks and stuff. Um, you might have them in your home if you live in the U.S. Kohler is uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice stuff when it comes to uh, water fixtures. So anyhow, on our way, see you there. Bet you never guess what I'm doing. Look at this. Brass. Cool, huh? What a place, huh? Got a load in up there. Go down the service elevator. Actually, not a service elevator, just an elevator elevator. Like, here's our loyal little pickup truck. And then here is underground parking. See? Big underground parking garage. And then here is the entrance to our lower level. Kind of off the garage. So, all hidden. Pretty cool. The worst part of my job. Changing into some of the nicest clothes I own in a piss closet. Hate that. This is our, our preacher right here, the woman in the maroon dress. Get down. She married him. for a full cart. Into the elevator we go. Look at there I am. Pulling shit in. Done. Loaded. 60 person wedding at the American Club. Went great. Only really played for like 45 minutes. Or an hour and 45 minutes. But uh, it was a great party. <laughs>